Hi, I'm Tom Elliott with Deep Woodley Spiritual Direction Services. When I was going through training to be a spiritual director, we learned about the guidelines for the discernment of spirits. To be quite honest, just the title of that seems a bit daunting and scary, like it's something written by an exorcist. But I later learned that it's actually just a section of the spiritual exercises in which St. Ignatius offers to you and I some helpful hints on how to respond more fully to the Holy Spirit at work in our lives and how to really resist any evil spirits work in our lives, including the work of our own ego. Ignatius, in those guidelines for the discernment of spirits, breaks them up into rules or helps for week one of the spiritual exercises and for week two of the exercises. Despite that breakup and division, really those guidelines can be used by you and I at any point in time in our spiritual growth. They're very practical and concrete rules. For example, one of those guidelines is that when you and I are in desolation and turmoil, when we're going through a difficult time, that might be an experience of God not being close, us being withdrawn from God, or in deep fear or worry, anxiety. Ignatius says that that's not a time for you and I to make an important decision against what we've normally already been doing. Now, this is also a practical rule that you have heard many times probably throughout your lives. For example, when someone loses a spouse, he or she is often told, don't make any big decisions now. You're still in grief. Now's not the time to sell your house, to quit your job. We want to wait, rather, until we're at a place of consolation and peace before making a big decision. So what Ignatius is offering in the guidelines for the discernment of spirits is very practical and something that resonates with the hearts of most people. For more information on this and other presentations and online retreats, please visit my website at www.deepwardly.com. May God bless you.